driving a car with a manual gearbox, deciding which gear to use is not as simple as purely looking at our speed. There are other factors to consider, such as where we are driving, how much engine power we need, and even whether we would like to save fuel. In this video, we will show how we are flexible when selecting a gear to suit our current driving situation. Before we get started, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you can watch our next video as soon as it's released. If you have any questions about this video, then please comment below and we will reply as soon as we can. The primary purpose of any gearbox is to convert the high speed of the engine to the lower speed needed to drive the wheels of the car. As the car changes speed, the gearbox will need to change to a different ratio to enable the engine to stay at the correct speed to maintain efficiency. Cars with an automatic gearbox will do this for us, but in cars with a manual gearbox, we will need to decide which of the available gears is best. Whatever the speed we are driving at, there will always be a choice of gears that we can use. We are currently driving on a road with a 40 mile per hour limit, and there are actually four gears we could use, second, third, fourth or fifth. As we select each gear, we can see the speed of the engine changes. The higher the engine revs, the more power will be available, but more fuel will be consumed. We need to consider which gear will best suit what we are currently doing with the car. There will of course be differences between cars, with different engine types, gearbox ratios, vehicle weights and other factors all changing the speed at which we will need to change gear. We can use the engine rev counter and the sound of the engine to help us decide how fast to go in each individual gear. To be able to choose the correct gear we will need to consider our current road speed, how much engine power we need and how likely we are going to need to change our speed. Let's look at four common situations. Maximum economy when driving gently, extra engine power when accelerating, a flexible gear choice for use in urban areas, and finally, driving in hilly areas. When driving gently on a road without many hazards, we would normally want to get the maximum fuel economy possible to do this, we should select the highest suitable gear so that the engine revs are as low as possible without making the engine struggle. So after leaving the mini roundabout, we accelerate gently and change up to the next gear without exceeding 3000 RPM. The lower the engine revs, the less fuel we will be using but we will have less power available to accelerate. Now we are cruising at a steady speed, we choose to select fourth gear to reduce the engine speed to under 2000 RPM. But as soon as we need to slow down or climb a hill, we would need to select a lower gear to increase the power available. We are waiting to join an uphill slip road onto a dual carriageway and we will need to accelerate the car quickly to merge safely with other traffic. To do this we will need extra engine power so we will need to use more throttle and change gear later. We stay in third gear until 5000 RPM and this allows the engine to develop more power. This extra power does come at the expense of using more fuel, 
which is why we only drive like this when needed. Once we reach the required speed, we change up to the highest suitable gear to cruise as economically as possible. Another situation where we might need extra power is when overtaking, as we would need to accelerate quickly past the slower vehicle. To do this, we would select a lower gear that would give extra power and ideally complete the manoeuvre without further gear changes. Sometimes, we might want to choose a gear that allows us more flexibility with our speed. In this residential street, there are double parked cars and a speed of about 20 miles per hour seems reasonably safe and we have decided to stay in second gear. This keeps the engine at 2500 RPM and this gives us the flexibility to slow down to walking pace or increase our speed up to 30 miles per hour without the need to change gear. This would be useful if we spot a hazard, tight bend or meet oncoming traffic. Just because we can select a high gear doesn't mean that we always should. Staying in second like this might waste a little fuel, but it saves us from repeatedly changing between second and third gears, which could be a distraction and even increase clutch wear. This situation also happens at other speeds. So at 30 miles per hour, we have the choice of using third or fourth gear, and at 40 miles per hour, fourth or fifth. If we need flexibility, we stay in the lower gear. Or if we can cruise at a steady speed, we select the higher gear. When driving up or down steep hills, we will need to choose our gear carefully. Before driving downhill, we select one gear lower than normal for that speed, as the extra engine braking effect helps us to control our speed and reduce the need to brake. When driving uphill, we also select a lower gear, as this will allow the engine to develop more power and climb the hill without struggling. How fast we are able to go in each gear will depend on several factors, such as the steepness of the hill, the engine power rating, weight of the vehicle and even the gearbox ratios. If the engine doesn't have enough power and the vehicle is losing speed, then selecting a lower gear will increase the engine speed and provide more power. The red zone on the rev counter shows the maximum engine speed. We should never exceed this as it can overheat and even cause damage. We normally drive in the highest gear possible to get the best fuel economy, but now that we know we can vary our gear choice, sometimes we can use this information in other situations. Using high gears gives less engine power, so when driving in snow, we could choose to pull away in second gear to reduce the power to the wheels and prevent wheel spin. Using low gears gives extra engine power, so when our car is fully loaded, we could change up later so the extra engine revs provide more power to get up to speed better. With experience, we will be able to select the best gear for the current situation so that we always have the best balance between economy, flexibility and engine power. So remember to select low gears for extra engine power. Higher gears provide better fuel economy. Choose a flexible gear if necessary and consider other situations individually.
If you found this video interesting and would like to be notified when we release the next one, then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel. If you would like to help us make new videos, then please consider becoming a member or Patreon of our channel. Thanks for watching.